All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Sincere Shalom to all you men preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to you striving, elect, hopeful members, all right? And um, this video uh, is going to be called is going to be called why the two-thirds must go okay why the two-thirds must go and um they're just holding the nation of israel all right you negroes latinos and native americans they just holding the one-third back man and more and more we're starting to see or have seen uh, that the lord the only only way um is to move forward is getting rid of the two thirds, man, because the most high has tried every single thing and um they're waxing worse and worse. Okay, so uh this I'm gonna play this video. I have the right to do so with the Fair Use Act. And um we're gonna play this video. This happened in Houston. This guy name is Lucio uh Diaz and um you're going to find out what he did, man. And I got some scriptures to back it up. And um, let's, uh, let's play it. A medical building janitor was accused of a vile crime. And now the details in the case are particularly disturbing. Court records claim he was caught on camera urinating into a worker's water bottle, spreading an STD. And police believe there may be other alleged victims. Okay. So it says this guy, um, he he's getting caught urinating in a woman's water bottle, and he gave her an STD. Okay, so let's play that again. Workers claim he was caught on camera urinating into a worker's water bottle, spreading an STD, and police believe there may be other alleged victims. Jason Miles spoke with the employee today. Jason, how did she suspect something was going on? Well, she says she smelled something and saw something in her water bottle. She eventually decided to set up a spy camera at her desk in the building you see behind me. And that's the evidence that led to the janitor's arrest. Take a look at him. He's identified as 50-year-old. Okay. So let me pull out a scripture real quick. We're going to start off with Isaiah uh 19 verses 14 the lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and they have caused egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit so the modern day egypt is america okay and it's saying the most high has mingled a perverse spirit Meaning an ungodly spirit, meaning an abominable spirit that's uh, that these people have. A lot of the, the American way, the Babylonian way, is perverseness, man. All right? And you could feel it in the air, man. People are waxing worse and worse. And that includes our people, okay? The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. For you, for you to urinate in someone's... See. For you to the urinate is evolving, creating the and someone's drink, you know, at any place really, but especially at your job. Yeah, I don't know why. That's the evidence that led to the janitor. Shows you how sick this place is, man. All right. That man had all type of demons on him. Okay. She smelled something and saw something in her water bottle. She eventually decided to set up a spy camera at her desk in the building you see behind me. And that's the evidence that led to the janitor's arrest. Take a look at him. He's identified as 50-year-old Lucio Diaz, currently charged with both, both indecent assault and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Diaz accused of putting his private part into the alleged victim's water bottle, which she caught after installing a spy cam at her desk. 
She caught him doing it. The alleged victim's attorney sharing screenshots from the explicit video also shared with police. The 54-year-old mother of two says she only knew Diaz as the man who cleaned the office at night, but became suspicious after noticing issues with her water and wanted to get to the bottom of it. Here's what she says Diaz did with her water bottle while wiping down her desk one night. I just picked it up, removed the cap, and proceeded to put his penis probably halfway into the bottle, and then he tilted it up. Uh, so that his penis was surrounded by the water. Now, most disturbingly, the alleged victim says she came down with a herpes strain the suspect also tested positive for. Right now, Diaz is being held by immigration authorities pending his first... Okay. So she came down with a, a so-called uh, incurable STD, Okay called herpes after he did this man so how sick is that man so let's jump to Isaiah that's a full-blown demon now now what can the Mossad do with that guy all right you know uh, Isaiah 1 verses 5 why should ye be stricken anymore Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. All right, so the Most High, he punished us numerous times, man. Okay, why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more, meaning uh, Jake starts to uh, wax worse, man. Uh, they rebel more and more, okay? And uh, the West, okay, this Babylonian mindset pushes this vibration on our people and our, and two-thirds of our pe people take advantage of it, man. They soak it up. So they rebelling more and more against the Most High. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Okay? From the top leaders, okay, your leaders to, to the very bottom. Okay? There's no soundness in the heart, okay, for the two-thirds, man. Um, so the Most High just... And it's coming destruction. You're just going to take them out, man. And they're going to be born into the kingdom of heaven until the elect members of the uh, the nation of Israel. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. Now, how do you get, how do you become sound? How do you become stable? How do you become, um, uh, you know, not a degenerate, if you will? It's through listening to the Most High's word, which is found in the Holy Bible, man. All right? But wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. And when something is putrefying, it, it means it's not really getting better. And putrefying sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Okay, so everything that Most High sends to help Jake. A lot of Jakes reject, man. So this wound is like incurable. Okay. Let's jump to uh, Zechariah. The book of the prophet Zechariah. 13. Verses 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land. Okay. And that land is America. Say of the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left, left therein. It's Halakia. Any land where the two thirds are at, okay? America just being, you know, if you're just caught on this land when the, the missiles hit and the chariots come to take this place out, you're going to die. And uh, But there's going to be two thirds around the world as well okay that are going to be taken out too okay Let's see if there's any more to this victim says she came down with a herpes strain the suspect also tested positive for 
Right now, Diaz is being held by immigration authorities pending his first appearance in criminal court. Meantime, the alleged victim's civil attorney plans to file suit against the building management and the janitorial service for which Mr. Diaz worked. I reached out to both of those entities, but have yet to hear back today, and I'll have much more on this case and more from the victim coming up at... At Wawa, and there's a club for fast. every... Let me see if I can find it. Um... Getting hurt at work can feel like your world. So they're, they're saying 11 more potential victims come forward. So this guy was just on a rampage doing this stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? It's up to Revelation. Seventeen verses one, and there came one of the seven angels, which those that are um, archangels. There's, you know, the scriptures mention four by name, but there's actually seven, which had the seven vials, which is the destruction. All right. The different plagues that the Most High is going to hit this place with. All right. And talk with me saying unto me. Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great horde that sitteth upon many waters. Okay. And the waters explains are the people. And, and the whore is America. So. Basically America is running this, this world man. Okay. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast. All right, which that beast is the revived Roman Empire. Okay, NATO and the EU, which which rules this earth, but America being on the top. That's why it's riding a beast full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. All right, it's the revived Roman Empire. And a woman arrayed in purple and scarlet color so basically you know scarlet and purple are like royal colors man it said uh, um it says america's the glory of kingdoms it also says um um uh, what was it so lucky i got a um Basically, it uh it it, it complements on how it speaks on how basically America is a rich kingdom. Okay. Oh, it says um I remember this a golden cup in the Lord's hand. So, this place has a lot of money. Okay, arrayed in purple and scarlet, and to get those colors, okay, which are royal colors, you have to have money, man. And decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup and her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. All right. So this is what America spreads, man. Filthiness of a fornication and full of abominations, man. This place here, you can do whatever you want, man. Whatever urge, desire you have that's wicked. Um, America... Um, promotes it man okay and upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth all right a lot of those do these sick philosophies ideologies rebellion um america is the mother of it. it birthed a lot of these ideas man or took it to the next level all right and wickedness on the left hand side man and our people are producing that, um, taking part in that, I should say. You know? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, just quick. Lord willing, it was straight to the point. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwada, Shalawah.